Okay, let's get into episode six of Midnight Mass. And uh, the last episode, uh, Riley exploded basically. <laughs> um, when you're gonna take someone, he, he did a brave thing, you know. Um, that was actually the best move you can do. But when you take someone out into the middle of the, well, out into the uh, ocean, whatever, um, on the boat, on a little small canoe, and then you know you're a vampire, so you might go up in flames when the sun hits you. And the boat is made of wood. You know, the boat might catch on fire, and you might leave the your significant other kind of uh, between the rock and the hard place, and having to swim back. <laughs> well, hopefully they didn't go that far out. But uh, anyways, um, that was pretty. Uh, it was pretty sad, but he he did something very brave. Um, so that was pretty cool um and that he didn't he basically didn't fall for uh uh for what the others were selling basically uh nah i'm not gonna be part of your group it's not gonna go down like that i'm just gonna go out in my own way um i don't believe in your crap that you're selling so screw off and uh yeah this is how it is you know i actually thought he was gonna take her out there and feed on her but no no he he surprised me um last episode was also filled with a lot of monologues and this was what the show is it's a lot of monologues and it's gotten to the point where um it's uh it's a little overbearing, you know. They're 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 nice and all, but uh, it's a little overbearing. It, it kind of drags on the episodes. Um, it definitely felt that way in the last episode. You know, there was very few parts of good reaction, basically, um, because of the long monologues. But um, hopefully, uh, uh, but the show when it hits its highs, it really hits the highs. So that's good. So we'll see going forward how it's gonna shape up. Um, so uh, if I didn't say it before, I'm Terrell with Big Time Nights. Um, if you're here, hopefully you've been following along and uh, um, here for the ride with me. Um, uh, this isn't a market substitute, you know. Make sure you uh, can catch this show on Netflix and then come back here and watch the reaction with me. Um, but. Anyways, we're just gonna get right into it. Uh, episode six of Midnight Mass, and uh, hopefully it should be a good one. So let's get into it. Peace. So everything he told you was the truth. How are you gonna take this? That, that, that's incredibly shocking <laughs> and disturbing. Disturbing and shocking. He could have brought you out there to kill you, but he didn't. You gotta know he was telling the truth. Acts of the Apostles. Riley didn't come back, huh? You were expecting him to come back? You gotta know the people who are in on it. Yep, you know that guy's in on it. You gotta be wary of those people. The Apostles. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Evil. Don't, don't, don't let them suspect anything because they definitely will kidnap you and feed you to the guy. That's how far gone they are. They'll kidnap you and feed you to the vampire dude. Or the priest, whatever. Monsignor, Purit, whatever. You gotta be careful. Her mother seems like she knows something, though. Aaron. Have you ever heard of... Ignaz Semmelweis? No. between friends, right? Hmm. My mother's crazy. So my mom is making nah. recovery that it's like she's getting younger. And I've been trying to un insane. Can someone just say the word vampire? Fucking bonkers. 
Because I, I, it can't be just... Some made up. Not a day goes by lately without you Look how young she looks. I'm nuts. Fit for the asylum, all of us. His brave early followers were sent out into the world as sheep among wolves. All the believers were of one heart and mind. If he was a vampire, though, how could he go into a church and. Wear collar and all that kind of stuff. Maybe it's not everything associated with vampires, but uh, feed them some garlic. In our church, let's share everything that we have. Easter. She has no fear of this guy. There's a blood disorder called erythropoietic protoporphyria, APP. Hey guys, just a little disclaimer at this point in the uh, uh, recording, my audio uh, went out on my uh, camera, so I lost all my audio um, for the rest of the reaction. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just, um, just talk over the important scenes that I reacted to, that, that I could see that I reacted to. And I mean, that's the best I can do. I'm, uh, forgive me. I, I'm still pretty new to this, so mistakes are bound to happen, <laughs> but, uh, I'll make sure to try to, uh, charge my, uh, equipment, uh, beforehand. But um, anyway, so bear with me. I'm just going to do my best because I've already seen the show at this point, but I have to go back and just uh, re-edit this audio into the uh, video. It's just going to be um, a, a reaction to the scenes I think are, are important, just my, my little cover on them. And that's about it. This point. Um, Why would you say something like that? You You're have the two characters, uh, Riley's mom, um, and Riley's friend, <laughs> uh, talking to each other, and she's basically, you know, telling the mom that uh, Riley's dead, <laughs> and you know what mother wants to hear that, you know, up front like that, you know, of course they're gonna have a have an adverse reaction so that that sucks yeah i thought it was pretty ridiculous when that scene happened <laughs> okay in this next scene with the boats uh the guys basically they're they're basically trying to keep them on the island at this point uh for the easter event and get everyone in one place and so yeah, you, know, you can bear you can start to see the writings on the wall. The when this happens, the sheriff's son is tripping, man. At this point, like he's just completely. I know he wants to study and understand the faith. He go in his own direction, but he's just just undermining his father at every point, man. And I mean, look where it gets him, though. Look where it gets him. <laughs> Ready for bed then? It's tonight's Easter vigil. It's at midnight, and it it would it would mean a lot to me if you came with me. We've been through this, Ali. I don't want to. I know, but they just keep telling me what a big deal this mass is and how important it is. Uker says Father Paul's been scrambling all day. There's supposedly some big surprise. I I guess it wouldn't be surprising in a small town. You know, you get carolers going throughout the town during Christmas and whatnot, but man, oh man, what they're getting themselves into. Join us. Happy Easter. Okay, we got the sheriff, uh, 
sheriff's in the church, you know, checking out, sitting with his son. Man, he's a good man. He's a good man. You know, he, he supports his son, whatever he, he wants to do. But, but damn, man. Might bless us all. And we have, we've seen the miracles. Our new bodies, the resurrection of the body, new and everlasting life. And this, uh, the priest is uh, just, is going a little crazy, man. People got to be wondering, like, what the hell is this guy talking about? But people are already bought in. And each one of us will have the opportunity tonight to pay that price. But first, and uh, I know after everything. And, um, and this guy, <laughs> uh, the uh, subordinate is all, he's all in and willing to sacrifice his life. I mean, this show is weird in a way, like, uh, there's a lot of blood, death, and stuff like that, like covering up. Like this doesn't seem like the work of God. This is like the work of uh, the devil. <laughs> That's, all right. That's okay. It's okay. That's all right. That's all right. And the unveiling of the demon. This is just. <laughs> Angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of God shone around them, and they were sore afraid, and the angel said, Fear not, fear not, be not afraid. <gasps> oh yeah, he's he's wearing a robe too. A priest robe. Like that's insane. He's in a church and all that kind of stuff. Like you you would think all this will be toxic to him, but it's not. He spreads his wings. Those are angel wings. <laughs> Those are devil wings. Those are demon wings. Telling you, be not afraid. No. No. Come on. Dad. 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 Stop. Stop. Sheriff. Sheriff. I implore you. The sheriff's son is tripping, man. He's tripping hard. Like, have your father's back. Like, come on. Like, opportunity for salvation. Okay. <laughs> hey, back. Ali, come here right now. You're coming with me right now. Why are you all in like this? And you're standing right in front of that demon, dude. I just can't believe that the the people would would just all of a sudden buy all in like this, like this. I don't know, and and no one thought to just get the fuck out. <laughs> the only one who was like wise enough was the uh, the doctor's mother, the one that's uh de aging. Like she 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 knew what's up. She 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 has the right idea. This church scene is like reminiscent of like the King's Men <laughs> and how crazy it goes. It's one of the craziest church scenes. I have I I know I spoke about it before. I think the King's Men probably has a crazier church scene since there's like so much death and craziness going on. Well this is like number two. This is completely batshit insane. What's going on? Everyone going crazy, losing their minds. That'll all be over soon. And they'll all wake up eternal. And of course, Bev would be the, the coward. Why why was why didn't she willingly want to give her life too? Like she went and hid? Like, are you serious? I thought you were a believer. But she ends up getting shot, you know. <laughs> Such a fucking coward, man. To the very end, too.
everyone comes back to life and look how messy it is just look how like this is you guys think this is god's will get the fuck out of here and anyways that wraps it up you know um as i've said i've already finished the series as i'm recording this so this is just uh it's not going to be much of a discussion uh, or it's not a discussion so you know me talking directly to you but uh after video reaction, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I thought this was a, a great penultimate episode, you know. And uh, anyways, uh, hope uh, the episode seven is gonna be in a bit of a new format, uh, camera angle, all that kind of stuff. So you get to see a little bit more of me and not just my face up close, <laughs> like five o'clock shadow, all that kind of shit. But uh, anyways, uh, sorry about this, uh, but episode 7 should be, should be okay. Uh, until next time, you guys, uh, thanks for watching the reaction, and I uh, hope to see you on uh, future reactions. Alright, take care. Peace. Screw, screw.